Hello, good evening, everyone. Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good welcome. Evening. Welcome to your class number 15. Yes, the third week already ended. Yes. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel today? Are you okay? Are you excited? We have the weekend of. Okay. <laughs> or do you work on weekends? Do you work on weekends? Yes. No. Yes, you do. You don't. Oh, yes, great. Do. Oh, sorry, Elise. Wow. Um, I hope you just work for 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 a few hours. Okay. Uh huh. Or or the eight hours. Uh, eight hours. Okay, so full time. Yes. Oh, sorry to hear. Uh, but do you have a day off during the week? No, I am not because I am a go live the new project in in here in Mexico. Oh, okay. So you have no weekend off. All right. No. Well. Mm. Maybe maybe the, the next the next weekend. Oh, okay. Well, there is hope. <laughs> there is hope. Okay. <laughs> All right, people, we are going to continue the class. Uh, the topic is about marketing. Today we have a review and practice because we finished unit two. Um, uh, we want also to uh, uh, we want also to solve the midterm test at least if you have any question, we want to we want to um help you out okay well i'm going to i'm going to switch into spanish because i want to say something very important bien el día de hoy estamos muy felices en inglés corporativo eh, tenemos okay okay boris está bien uh -huh. estamos nos unimos a la celebración de Insafor de sus 30 años, ¿verdad? De servicio a la comunidad eh, laboral, ¿verdad? Estamos muy contentos y somos parte, ¿verdad? De ese éxito. Y nos sentimos felices y orgullosos. Y gracias a ustedes también que han decidido, ¿verdad? Eh, sumarse al esfuerzo de tecnificarse, de superarse dentro de, sus, de su área laboral. Así que todos acá en inglés corporativo, tanto administración, todo el equipo docente, todos eh, los equipos que tenemos dentro de inglés corporativo, pues estamos muy alegres, muy contentos celebrando con esa Ford. Y, y queremos hacerlos partícipes a ustedes también, ¿verdad? Que ustedes también se sientan orgullosos de ser parte de este esfuerzo, ¿verdad? De haber tomado, que han tomado una buena decisión de tomar el beneficio que Insafor les ha ofrecido, ¿verdad? Así que esperamos que se cumplan sus objetivos y seguimos de la mano y seguimos avanzando y esperamos también mejorar en todas las áreas que sea posible, ¿verdad? Así que, pues, hemos eh, realizado ya un buen trayecto, ¿verdad? Capacitando personal, capacitando a la comunidad en diferentes eh, áreas técnicas eh, para poder desarrollarse y poder tener ingresos mejores, ¿verdad? Eh, pues ese es el propósito, ¿verdad? Ese es el propósito, formar, formar, profesionalmente. Es un desarrollo profesional el que ofrecemos y pues inglés corporativo es parte también, ¿verdad? De obtener ese éxito. 
Así que lo, les queríamos comentar y también involucrarlos, ¿verdad? En que estamos muy contentos de hacerlos partícipes a ustedes. So happy. Yes, as well. we are. Yes, okay, very good, I say. yes. What yes. is there, yeah. what, what is there to eat to, oh, um, today? <laughs> okay, today we're having some cake, maybe carrot cake. <laughs> well, actually, okay. here is a, a, a little piece for you too. <laughs> Ok, bueno, por ahí van a ver algunas publicaciones, ¿verdad? Eh, por acá tengo, creo, alguna, eh, dejen de verla a la mano, para que puedan ver una de las publicaciones que eh, Inglés Corporativo eh, envió, ¿verdad? O para unirse a la celebración de los 30, aquí está, se las voy a mostrar acá. Para que ustedes se sientan también orgullosos de ser parte, ¿verdad? De este esfuerzo, porque aquí todos somos parte. Nos toca un pedacito, ¿verdad? Miren, esta es una de las publicaciones. Eh, inglés Corporativo, pues todo el equipo es una gran familia de Inglés Corporativo, Regal International, SADCB. Nos unimos a la celebración, ¿verdad?, de los 30 años de que Insafor ha estado formando un mejor El Salvador. Nos complace enormemente tener la oportunidad de felicitarlos por el logro sobresaliente de cumplir 30 años de trayectoria en la capacitación a nivel nacional en el sector empresarial. Felicidades, ¿ok? Bueno, aquí estamos ya. Eh... Después de esta efusiva celebración, vamos a continuar con nuestra clase, okay? Well, people, today we have our review and practice. Let me just to introduce the class by show you, showing the presentation, okay? Siempre lo comparto mal primero, no sé, porque quizás está, eh, eh, he seleccionado algo desde el principio y siempre me toca compartir dos veces. Hoy sí me voy a fijar bien. All right, welcome to your class number 15. Yes, we are about mm, the middle, right? Because it's unit two ending. <laughs> So today we have a review and practice, and this is about marketing. Remember, Unit 2 is about marketing. We want to describe effective branding in a business plan still, because that was the objective from yesterday, and it continues. We want also to practice all the vocabulary we learn about marketing today. Um, we want also to have a marketing plan presentation. You are going to work and mm, applying the 4P to make a mix, okay, of the 4Ps uh, of a product, a new product in the market. So we want to start by re, uh, reminding or recalling what is marketing. Do you remember what marketing is? Do you remember what marketing is? Do you want to read what is marketing? A ver, Álvaro Ernesto, can you please read what is marketing? Marketing each every each and every one of the activities the companies undertake to promote the buying or selling of a product or service. Very good, very good. And in a, 
let's say in simple words will be meeting needs profitable, okay, profitable. Imagine that you want to create a product, but you don't know where to sell it, who to, uh, who um, is buying these kind of products, who the consumer could be. So um, do you think it will be a success? Do you think it's going to become a good product in the market? Me? Okay, Alvaro, tell us. Hey, um, the consumer um, fund is fund, uh, fundamental. Uh, yes, fundamental. We could say essential, right? Yes, the essential is uh, the product. Um, <laughs> Mm -hmm. Create to create to the need to the consumer, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and this product, this product ha has a a good a good a good ser a, a good service is a in in need to the uh, consumer, right? Okay, to meet the needs of the consumer, yes. This product must fit the need, right? They have to feel or fulfill the necessity or the needs of the target market. Uh, yes. we're, okay, when you uh, see that in some public, I don't know, maybe, a segment of the population you see I think these people need this and this and that in order to get this and this and that ah so we have a purpose there is a there is a need to fulfill right so if you come up with an idea how to solve the problem and then you create a product right so that's our product development process it has to start by having the idea, correct? By having the idea. But let's look at the marketing. Marketing are each and every one of the activities of a company to promote the buying or selling of that product that I created, okay, that I created. So it's really important for us to know how to make a good marketing plan, okay? A good marketing plan. What is a marketing plan? What is a marketing plan? Let's see. Um, Mr. Nelson, can you tell us what a marketing plan is? In your own words. I tried. Okay. Okay, marketing plan is a uh, is a uh, instructions that mm -hmm. you need to to follow to obtain or you get uh, you get something or to commit your aims. Oh, okay, good to uh, achieve your goals, right? to yeah, yeah. achieve your goals okay yes uh and you have to write what you are aim uh aim for in those strategies you have to uh, draw the way how to get the tools how to get the um, um the final objective right or the general and specific objectives of creating the product or um, let's say that uh fulfilling the needs, right? But let's look at something very important. The marketing plan is a process. Yes, is a process, but it is written, okay? It is written and you present it on paper, okay? Let's say on paper, even though now you can do it digitally, right? Digitally, but uh, it's a way to say now, that it has to be written like a manual, right? Like a manual. 
the whole strategies we are going to use or we are going to follow in order to uh, describe the product, describe the pricing strategies, describe the promotion strategies, and also describe the placement strategies, okay? So, ah, then they come the four Ps. Uh -huh. So in the marketing plan, we present our marketing mix, okay? In our marketing plan, we present the marketing mix, but the marketing plan are all the, the strategies, okay? Uh, of marketing, let's say research, let's say buying, selling, pricing, uh, concepts, advertisement, etc. But this is a part of the business plan, okay? This is a part of the business plan. It's only one part because we have the others, right? We need to do SWOT analysis. We need to analyze the competition, right? The competitors. And maybe we need to match or to meet the purposes of the marketing plan, right? Or the strategies with our mission, with our vision, okay? In general of the company, maybe we could be oriented to the service marketing or maybe to the product marketing. Your company has in this marketing plan, the keys, okay? The is how to promote, describe, advertise, and also to get the incomes, okay? To get the incomes. And the credit, I'm, I'm sorry, in the pricing comes the credits, but it's not managed by marketing. That's managed by the financial planning, okay? The financial planning, planning the credits, um, the um, a payments that uh, you negotiate with your client, right? Maybe you just provide the information as the marketing plan, you create a strategy, but the financial uh, area is in charge of creating the uh, all the tools and processes to recover the money, okay? To collect the money uh, directly from the public, okay? We just work with the product, with the information, okay? With the information itself, all right? Okay, continue then, continue. Uh, am I okay? Uh, are you guys okay with what I said? Is there any questions so far? No, teacher. No? Are we okay? Yeah. Okay. In a few words, please, everybody. Uh, let's listen to Edwin Antonio explaining just a little bit about marketing and what is a marketing plan. Okay. Come on, Edwin. So the marketing is that uh, the strategy that all company use to promotion about your product, the product. Uh, the marketing plan uh, use it to uh, define each stage about that strategy for promotions. Very good. Planning, okay? Planning the strategies, right? Very good, Edwin. Continue, continue. Um, I don't know what else to say. Okay, in the marketing plan, we also uh, include the design of the product, the colors of the product, but that's another process in the marketing plan, remember? Yesterday, we started about the branding, yeah? We, we started just about the concept, how to describe an effective um, process of um, a, the awareness of our brand, right, in the market, how people perceive our brand, okay? And how do we, as a company, want uh, that people um, 
perceive our company, okay? So yes, thank you very much, Edwin. Very well, very well. All right, so that was marketing. That was marketing. And then we said that in the marketing plan, we have the strategies of the four P's. So the marketing plan is about the four P's and strategies. Okay, the four P's and strategies. Remember the four P's? Do you remember the four P's? Product, price, Product. promotion, place. Promotion, price, place. Exactly. So what does your product do? Oh, it's about the product, describing the product, the features of your product. Um, let's say the sizes, the colors, the designs, and how to differentiate from other similar products, right? But that's in conjunction with the promotion too. Okay, how would you advertise the product? With a promotion in any mass media, maybe the newspapers, announcements, uh, let's say by the radio, well, it's mass media too, social networks, etc. Where would you sell your product? Oh, that's placement or place, okay, place. Not exactly just a physical place, but it is. So it is not limited to the physical place, but it's oriented to uh, the activities that we do um, to make available the product to the client, okay, to the customer. Mm, here we can think about the element channels of distribution, transportation, uh, I don't know, import-export processes, okay? So where would you sell? Um, how much does your product cost? Mm, here, aha, comes to the to the drawing, the discounts, mm, the introduction prices, and the full price. Okay, the full and real plot price to be competitive in the market. Let's remember that. Um, Every time the market is getting more saturated. And sometimes we haven't thought um, enough about the um, behavior of the market, okay? Because maybe they can uh, be copying our strategies and they get more successful than us, okay? So yes, it's gotta be careful with that too. Okay, then we talked about the pricing strategies. Pricing strategies. Do you remember the pricing strategies? Mm -hmm. Pricing strategies. Okay. Remember? Who wants to talk about the pricing strategies? Mm, could be the process or the met methodoli methodologies. Okay, Metho uh, like this, me methodology. Uh, methodology. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, used to set the, the different prices or for, uh, for the products. Uh, and services uh, that uh, in this process we need to be careful uh, uh, careful that the not uh, set a high pricing or a low pricing okay those words are overpriced Overpriced or oh. underpriced. Okay? Oh, okay. Thank overpriced you. and underpriced. So, okay. mm -hmm. and this is for being competitive. Okay. This is for being competitive. And sometimes it's not about the money that you're asking for, it's about the value of the product because maybe I can buy a car. It fits my need of transportation from point A to point B. But I don't want only that, okay? I want some value added, okay? Value added. Maybe I want comfortability 
or maybe I'm looking for luxury, or maybe I'm just looking for something with class, high class, okay? Or just because of the color, maybe there are people that they look something, look for something about uh, related to the color. Or maybe we speak to a model, right? We stick to a model and then they become classic. So it, val it the value increases, right? The value is um, higher, okay, when we stick. But this is really important, okay? This is really important because here we can, as Nelson said, we can make some mistakes with the pricing. We could overprice something and we could also underprice something. But you know what? For example, hmm, imagine that you can get mm, a Perlitas water, okay? But you want Cristal water, okay? Perlitas water costs 25 cents the bottle, the same size, let's say, uh, the, the, the little list, okay? And then you say, mm, no, but I, I'd rather buy Cristal. Okay, I'd rather buy Cristal. Why? Because of the quality. Mm, okay, you trust in the brand. Okay, you trust. So it's a value added. They created the image of quality. Okay, they are making the brand trustable. So that's value added. And this goes in the pricing too. Okay, this is uh, reflected by how much people is willing to pay for your product okay also there is another thing maybe the products in the market um are they, they let's say the offer is very high okay the supply the supply is very high and then the 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 price goes low, okay? But if we can get the product that we really need, okay, then um, the value increases, okay? The value increases. So this is also a, um, a let's say, handled by the fluctuation in the market of the supply and demand. Okay, supply and demand. Uh, we could say offer, you said, right? But it's supply and demand. That's the law, uh, law of supply and demand. So let's see that hmm, it's easy when you offer a product that you produced right to the hand of the customer, right? So what do you think, for example, hmm, pupusas? How much are you willing to pay for Three cheese pupusas. How much are you willing to pay for three cheese pupusas? Rice dough. Mm -hmm. I $3. can pay three dollar only. Three dollars. One dollar each pupusa? Yes. Okay, that's the highest price that you want to pay. Good. Uh who said something uh something else? Kevin? If, if we if the pupusa is big, uh, I can pay one hundred fifty cent. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. One dollar fifty cent. Oh, oh, I said, oh my goodness, really expensive. <laughs> one dollar. Excuse me. Okay, maybe in the intercontinental, right? <laughs> <I said. laughs> okay, but look, yes, uh, one dollar and fifty. Okay, and if you are in typical Margot, are you willing to pay for pupusas? How much do they cost? Are they delicious for you? This is your opinion. 
I'd rather buy my neighbor's pupusas, okay? She makes, well, actually for me, the best pupusas ever, okay? Uh-huh, because I think, uh, well, I love how she makes the pupusas. Uh, what about you? What place do you prefer to eat pupusas in El Salvador? Well, actually in your city. Let's say, um, oh God, oh God, oh God. Eulise, what's your favorite place uh, to eat pupusas? What place do you prefer? Planes de Regleros. Oh, okay, yeah. Someday we'll go, okay? Someday we'll go. <laughs> All together, guys. There is yeah. uh, excellent pupusas. Oh, yes. I agree. I agree. Do you agree, guys? How much does a pupusa cost in los planes de renderos? Oh, pupuseria la Suiza. Where is it? Over there in los planes? In los planes, eh, pupusas cost eh, one dollar fifty. 50. 50 cents. Okay, so that's cent. that's the average that Kevin said too, okay? Yes. Yeah, you're right. But, but what uh, uh -huh. but uh um it, uh I agree with uh price because there is a beautiful place and and all is beautiful, that's that's okay with the price. Okay. And what do you think about the pupusas out of the country? Out of the country. Pupuserias in the United States, for example. Uh, do you agree the pricing of pupusas in the United States? Have you ever heard how much do they cost? Um, uh, I'm not sure about the price, but... I think um, it's three dollars around. Okay, I have heard five dollars each pupusa, <laughs> each pupusa. Mm -hmm. I have heard that uh, recently. Yeah. Okay. Well, actually, that. Why do you think that happened? Why do you think that happens? Why the value increases over there? Increases. In the United States uh -huh. increase the price, I think. Why? Why do you think this is about? Why because, this happened? Because is is the another uh, country, mm -hmm. and that's why in the United States has a more money and. Mm -hmm. And all is very expensive. Okay. Okay. Mm, maybe they pay more taxes, right? Maybe. So they have to cover that in the price. It's investment, right? Maybe. Uh, tell me what, it, what does mean? Taxes, mm. impuestos. Impuestos from the government. Okay. Is the other... Uh -huh. um, worth the did, did you say? I don't remember exactly which word. Uh, let's say um, maybe because of the uh, taxes. Did I say? Ah, okay. Uh huh. They have to uh, calculate this in their cost in the investment. Okay, in like investment. Ah, yes. Uh, investment is inversion. Okay. Yes. Uh mm -hmm. Exactly. So, <clears throat> well, imagine that you go to the market, okay? And you ask to La Niña Conchita that please gives you for less of the price that she's asking for. 
and you want to negotiate. Um, do you think she will be willing to low her price in the market? We are talking in the central market, let's say. Santa Tecla's market or any market. I'm sorry. ¿Ven ustedes que en el mercado sí estarían dispuestos a bajarle el precio a las cosas cuando usted pida? I think not. Okay, how do this work, the negotiation of prices? How do this work in El Salvador? ¿Cómo funciona eso en El Salvador cuando usted negocia el precio? A ver, Edwin. How do does it work? I'm sorry. How does it work? How does it work? Uh, um, Negotiating yeah, the price. Uh, mm -hmm. Price. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we choose the, the things or the goods. Mm -hmm. And we ask by the price and if the, the if there is expensive we can say uh, so if that's only price or oh, they can if i take another thing uh, what is the price if taking that okay so you go and ask how much does it cost well, if they tell you mm, $20, you go to another place and look for something with a lower price. Oh, the same product with a lower price. Is it? Yes. Oh, okay. But let's think about how to negotiate the price or the selling price, let's say, selling price. A, of, a, of an item that you really want to buy, that you really need, and you have to do the negotiation and your budget is limited. So let's think about how we can do that. I will send you right now, I will share a link and we are going to uh, practice the conversation, how to negotiate the price of a, uh, television okay we want to buy a television but the price is too high and uh, our budget is limited maybe we are not going to get that tv that specific tv but maybe they have a variety to offer okay that fits with my budget so let's think about how can we let's uh, can we negotiate the price and also uh, I want you to notice the vocabulary there, okay? So I will give you the link. We're going to do only the number one, okay? At the beginning, only the number one. Um, <clears throat> if you want to listen to the conversation, please uh, turn your microphone off. Okay, to listen to the conversation. And then uh, we are going to role play this conversation. Okay, so here it is. I'll send you the link right now. So here we go. <clears throat> Click on the link and let's listen to the conversation and also let's read the conversation. All right, did you listen to the first conversation?
Are you in the site yet? Carlos Ernesto? Hello, Jose Salvador. I am listening to the conversation. Oh, okay, okay, go ahead. Okay, please, Nelson and Eulise, role play the conversation. I send the, the text um, through the WhatsApp chat. Okay, the first conversation. Yes, only the first one. Okay. We've got it here. Maybe it's going to be here too. Okay. There it is on the chat uh, here in Zoom. Okay. What letter teacher? I'm sorry. You are going to be A and Nelson is going to be B. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm really interested in buying this television. That's great. How much are you selling it for? This TV is 2500 You can be serious? That's how much this TV costs. That's too expensive for me. This television is of very high quality. You can go down on the price. By how much? I'll buy it for $2,000. Uh, $2,000. Yes, $2,000. $2,000. I'm sorry, but the price is final. Okay. Sorry, man. All right. Okay. So, well, you've got to buy another thing. Yeah. Or another TV, a cheapest one, uh, a cheaper one. Okay. Edwin and Kevin. Edwin A, Kevin B. Hey, teacher. Mm -hmm. So I'm really interested in buying this television. That's great. How much are you selling it for? This TV is $2,500. You can be serious. That's how much this TV cost, costs. That's too expensive for me. This television is of very high quality. You can go down on the price. By how much? I'll buy it for $2,000. I'm sorry, but the price is final. All right. Well, so sad, Edwin. You couldn't get it this time. 
All right, but 2,000 is a lot of money too, right? <laughs> 2,000 is a yeah. lot of money. You can buy a car over here in El Salvador, <laughs> okay? Yes. <laughs> yeah, okay. If you see, there are two um, sentences that we can use, okay? We can, we can make this as a question or as an affirmation like, like this. Uh, you can't go down on the price, like mm, testing the seller, right? Affirming. But now also we can um, ask, can you go down on the price? Okay, can you go down on the price? And the other one is, I'm sorry, but the price is final, okay? Just the price is final, so it's, the full price, or maybe it has a discount already, so the price is final. And let's see the other one. No, that those were the the most important. Okay, the most important to negotiate the price for they to go down on the price. Okay, go down on the price. Is there any question question about this conversation? Uh, can you explain me exactly? The cut down is bajo, it's un precio bajo. Exactly, mm, eh, como decir bajarse en el precio, okay? No te puedes bajar un poquito más del precio, yeah? Something like that. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Okay, no les suena cuando vamos allá al centro histórico. <laughs> Bueno, el precio es muy alto, ¿verdad? Para el centro histórico, pero eh, digamos, usted va al centro histórico y le dice, mire, y eso es lo menos. No, mire, si me compra tres, le damos precio de docena. <laughs> if you buy three, then we give you a special price, like uh, if you are buying for a dozen, okay? <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Okay. Now I want you I want to take you to the second conversation. Let's go and see the second conversation in the same site. Scroll down and let's go to the second conversation. Okay. Are you done? Okay. Now let's listen to Jose Salvador and I don't know if Carlos El Ernesto is available. Carlos Ernesto, are you there? Yes, teacher. Okay, you will be B and Jose Salvador will be um, A. Okay. Okay. I would love to buy this <clears throat> TV. Fantastic. What the price for it? 
this television is on sale for $2,500. Seriously? That's the price. That's way too much money. That is actually very inexpensive for this television. Could you lower the price some? How much are you talking? 2000 is as high as I'll go. I'm very sorry, but 2500 dollars is the final price. Okay. Oh, sorry, oh, Salvador, you. you couldn't get it. <laughs> okay, well, and I'm so sorry, Carlos couldn't sell it. Okay, <laughs> no, yeah. I can't buy it. <laughs> okay. Did you ever had this opportunity to convince someone else to buy a product in a full price? Have you ever had this uh, interesting experience of convincing people? A ver, Kevin? What's the question, teacher? Have you ever had this experience of convincing people to buy a product in a full price or in the price that you, uh, that it is required or requested? When, when I bought my uh, Amoro cycle in the internet, I... I was in negotiation with the seller and and I told him no I can pay that price and he and he said but I need the money and the other things and yes I I I had been in, oh, okay in, in negotiation. Yeah. Okay, it's a very, sometimes it's a very awkward situation, right? Maybe some people would rather uh, not be in the, the, in the discussion, right? And the negotiation of the price. Sometimes it becomes an awkward conversation, right? Okay, well. Uh, is there any question about these other conversations? There we saw Wilber over there. So uh, let's ask to, let's say, Eulise. Yeah, Eulise. Hello, Eulise. Yes, teacher. Okay, you will be A and Wilbur will be B in the second conversation. Wilbur, I sent the, the text right there in the uh, chat on Zoom. Okay, uh, I see it. Okay, you may start, uh, Is it the same uh, conversation? No it's, no, it's the next one. It's the second one. Yeah? No, sé dónde está, no la veo. On the chat, on the chat uh, here in Zoom. Is the last conversation? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay, there it is in the chat. Um, what's up? To... Okay. Let me see. Okay. No. Uh, I would love to buy this TV. Fantastic. What's the price for it? The television is on sale for $2,500. Seriously? That's the price. That's way too much money. That is actually very expensive for this television. Inexpensive, inexpensive. Inexpensive, sorry. Inexpensive for this television. Would you lower the price, son? How much are you talking? Uh, Two thousand dollars is is a, is as high as like I I am go. No. <laughs> I'm very sorry, but two thousand five hundred dollars is the final price. Okay. 
Okay. What brand do you think is this TV? Could be uh, the last generation Sony. Oh, okay. With uh, front camera too. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Something like that, right? Uh, yeah, because, it, well, in our market, I think $2,500, it's a high price. It's a high price. You can get one in El Salvador. Okay, what's the price in El Salvador for a very good TV? Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, this world an expensive. Uh, yeah, it has a mistake. Uh, it is like a... a actually, it's very uh, an expensive. Uh, you cannot uh, have a negotiation, something like that. Uh, um, no. I, I I don't follow. I don't follow. Um, yes, uh, of course, you can tell the person, uh, I mean, to the buyer, uh, mm -hmm. but this is a very good quality product. So it's yes. inexpensive for the quality of the product that I, I am offering, okay? Inexpensive. Hasta barato por todo lo que tiene, okay? So, inex inexpensive. Okay. Inexpensive, inexpensive. So, not expensive, all right? Not expensive, inexpensive. Sure. Tell me. Uh, the, the first, uh, in the word inexpensive, the first letter is not I. Yes, it is. You're right. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's mistaken. Yes. I mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's mistaken. It's with the letter I. Yes. All right, people. So now we know how to negotiate, right? When the price is too high, then you can tell the, the seller, can you go down on the price? Uh, let's say, could you lower the price? Some, a little, okay? Or we could offer a different amount also, right? I'll go, and then we say the amount we are willing to pay. Sometimes this is defined by our budget, but sometimes it's because of our, of our preferences, okay? So is there when we could say, or our needs too, because if it costs two thousand, I'm sorry, two thousand and five hundred dollars, but you don't really need that product, but you want that product, well, it plays right. It plays there your preferences. Okay, so mm, let's um think just a little bit about the four p's the four p's for example in this conversation the last one and the first one are about the same product what product is it what is the product in the conversation television a television okay what's the price two thousand five hundred Dollar. Okay. Is there any promotion? No. Strategy no. over there? No. Okay. Uh, let's say about the place. Where do you think this is um, happening? At a warehouse. At a warehouse. Okay. Or a store, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, household. So a household or uh, an appliances store. Okay. How do you say it's a good side? Branch. Branch. Yeah. Okay. Mm hmm In a branch. All right. Mm hmm Okay, then, guys. There we have the four P's. Even though we don't see the, uh, the promotion, the personal selling is the promotion okay the personal selling because he is informing about the features about the prices okay so his part of the promotion strategies the personal selling remember that there is promotion right there recordemos que promoción no es solamente con eh, bajar el precio, descuentos, rifas, eventos, las relaciones públicas no es solo eso también el mensaje que se pasa de boca en boca. 
pero también la persona que yo tengo atendiendo a mis clientes es parte de la promoción y de la información, ¿verdad? Que yo voy a transmitir a través de ellos. Si ¿Sí? vender el producto es describir el producto con las mejores cualidades, el mejor lenguaje, etcétera, a, a manera de eh, make it attractive. The message make, makes attractive the product. Remember, appealing and the features. But also, he informs about the prices. Informa acerca de los precios. Las funciones, functions, part of the features. So, yes, of course, the personal selling is part of the promotion strategy. Okay, people. Now, let's go to the um, uh, next part. And we want to see the four Ps now. The four Ps uh, concepts. Remember that we have the marketing mix. Uh -huh. Product, price, place, and or placement, and promotion. Now, I will show you this slide, and you will say, you will read and say, what stage, or no, this is not a stage. This is element, okay? Element of the four Ps is H1, okay? All right, one second. I know we did it at the beginning, right? We did it at the beginning. Yes, the price, product, place, and promotion. No, we did it already. We did it already. So now we are going to see the, uh, just to remember the PLC stage, okay? The PLC stages, and we want to start by um, recalling the concepts of each stage, okay? Of each stage. And then we are going to work uh, completing some sentences using enough, okay? So here we are. Uh, here it is. Sorry, people, but here we are. Okay, uh, let's read the first one. Let's read the first one. Who wants to read the first stage? Hi. Okay, the first one, Wilbur, and the next one, this other one will be for Kevin, okay? The product is no longer attractive to many customers. Sales stop and the producer starts making a decision about discontinuing the product, buying out, copy data, or selling it to another producer. Okay, competitors, competitors. Competitors. Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, what stage uh, is this definition of? Decline. 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 Decline? Decline. Okay. Okay, let's read the next one. Kevin? 
At this stage, a new product is brought into the market. The demand of the product meets below. And marketing efforts try to develop branding, quality, and earnest of the new products to innovators. Very good. So this is might. Podría. Might, might below. 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 And this is develop. 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 Mm -hmm. develop. develop. This is awareness. And it was good. All right. Awareness. Yes. Innovators. 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 Yes. What stage is this one? Now, marketing introduction. Okay. Okay, uh, Salvador, please read the next one. Disculpe, ¿cuál, teacher? This one. Ah, ah yeah. The growth in sales decrease because there are many competitors. Market saturation occurs. The marketing efforts were the different the product and price might be lower than in the previous stage. Stages. Stages. Yes. Okay, people, what stage is this one? Maturity. Maturity. Maturity? Yeah. Yes, when we see market saturation, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the last one, who wants to read the last one? Me, teacher. Okay, please, uh, Carlos, go ahead. Uh, the new product registers an increase in demand because more customers accept. The sales start to grow and there is little competition. All right. So what stage is this one? Growth. Okay, growth. Growth. Mm -hmm. growth. All right. Now, what is the first stage? Marketing introduction. Okay. This will be the first one, okay? Taking this right here, and then we take this one right here. Okay, what will be the next one? Growth. Okay, I will write this back. Oh, good. Okay, market introduction. Mm -hmm. And the growth, growth. Now, what goes next? Maturity. Mature, maturity. 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 Yes. Maturity. Don't be afraid to pronounce this like a letter C, the letter CH. Maturity. Yes. And Maturity. what about, so the decline is the last one. Okay. What happened after the decline, guys? Uh, what? The company, mm -hmm. the company need intro innovation mm -hmm. and things about the new strategies. Okay. To, uh, the product can can have new things. Okay, new features, right? Mm -hmm. New the feature relaunch. Exactly. That's the process that starts that relaunching. Okay? Another company is do do a rename the brand with the same product. 
Exactly, exactly. Mm -hmm. So they uh, take the advantage of promotion to create a new image, right? Uh, or maybe they rebrand. But there are also other strategies that they can get. For example, the co-branding, remember? Co-branding. I sell a part of my company uh, because you gave me the money, I'm going to write uh, your name right next to mine or I can produce under another brand okay under another brand existing in the market so that's co-branding yeah a product offered or produced under different producers or mm, brands okay um, is there any other strategy that you can remember after the decline or to fight into the decline? Mm -hmm. Actually, here we've got discontinuing the product, buying out competitors or selling the product. Yeah, selling the product. There is another like withdrawing the product, okay, and making it better. Uh, but the withdrawal can be in any of the of the stages. Mm, we have seen this maybe in the maturity when rumors and uh, the bad competitors, the first competitors, create a. Uh, uh, a, let's say mm, dangerous campaign against my products, right? Maybe it's affecting health, maybe it's too, too much sugar added, whatever be the reason or the message the competitor are sending, the competitors are sending about my product can affect. So I can withdraw the product and renew the product i can redesign the packaging the product or start a new campaign of promotion okay of promotion too all right people so let's go and think about these how to use enough okay how to use enough Complete the sentences with the information and parentheses. Remember, we need to conjugate the verbs according to the subject and also the tense they are asking for. So let's think about the first one. Who wants to do the first one? Vaya, demos una recordadita de cómo usamos enough, ¿ok? Usamos enough with adjectives, placing the adjective before the word enough. For example, these funds are not when it, they are not meeting the need, right? The pants are not long enough. We, we use not, ¿ok? Said here, the couch is big enough. Oh, so adjective first and then enough, all right? Then we have the other word with verb. With a verb, we use the, we place the verb before enough. We place the verb before enough, like practice enough, said enough, done enough, okay? And the last part we started was using enough with nouns. We place enough at the beginning or before the noun. Enough chairs, because we can count them, but we can use enough with uh, non-countable nouns too, like enough information. So we make this in general with nouns, countable and non-countable. 
all right? Enough money. So enough at the beginning and then goes uh, the noun. So let's go back to the exercise. Okay, here we are. Aha. Who wants to do the number one? Me. Okay, please go ahead. Okay. The marketing department hasn't created enough interest. Okay. Next one. Hmm? Me, teacher. Okay, please, Carlos. Uh, our products offer enough issue and benefits. Okay, and to midterm test, no le vayan a poner enough porque les va a salir malo. Tienen que ponerle great. Acuérdense que está eh, configurado de esa manera. La palabra uh, no it's, está ahí. Ok. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I remember. Ok. En el midterm test tengan cuidado. Ok. Vamos a ver. The play strategy. Ahora que los veo, casi todos los módulos todos los deberes de todos los módulos siempre han tenido problemas, ¿verdad, teacher? Sí, es cierto, es cierto. Pero, mire, hemos tratado y hemos mejorado un montón, ¿verdad? Pero como es soporte técnico, entonces es una gran coordinación para, para hacer esos cambios. No los hacemos los teachers, ¿verdad? Sino que están ya desde INSAFOR, ¿verdad? Desde que están acreditados. Uh -huh. Es un, es un gran trabajo desde INSAFOR para poder hacer el cambio, que lo autoricen nuevamente. Ok. Ok, people, vamos a ver. Pero, pero aquí estamos los teachers y les ayudamos a ustedes, ¿sí? <ríe> of course. <ríe> yeah. Ajá, ok, Nelson, go ahead. Uh, the place strategy demands uh, enough channels of distribution. Demands. Okay. Next. Number four. Retailers will enough stock goods and sell them. No, stock sería el verbo. Okay. Stock oh, is stock, the verb. Stock, stock enough. Okay. Go and sell them. Okay, now let's go to number five.
Recordemos, subject, verb, and complement. We lack, uh -huh. we lack enough the competition. Enough information. 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 Uh -huh. Enough information on the competition. On competition. On the competition. Okay. Number six. The company mm -hmm. have conjugating the verb has has mm -hmm. uh, enough important distribution channel very good mm -hmm. number seven Their business not promote enough. Okay, ¿cómo hacemos el negativo en tiempo presente? ¿Cuál es el auxiliar? Do. Uh -huh. Okay, but their business don't don't mm, their business doesn't doesn't, doesn't. yes yeah. doesn't yes uh -huh. doesn't promote mm -hmm. promote you know mm -hmm. advertis advertis Advertising. advertising, 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 advertising. Mm -hmm. media. Okay. Now let's Picture. look at number eight. Tell me, Elisa. Well, then, when you finish the sentence, teacher. I'm sorry. Tell me. Uh, Yo sé que yo tengo un problema en, uh, en esa donde está offer. Siempre me, la, me, me sale errónea. Esta. Ok. Uh -huh. En vez de enough, usted va a poner great. Ok. Ahí está consignada esa palabra. No está consignada la palabra enough. Ahí fue un error de, de dedo que se le fue de, de uno, dos, tres, de los cinco dedos. Okay. Okay. And no era offer, entonces great. Eh, offer great. Ajá. No dice enough. Pero lo correcto debiera ser enough, ¿verdad? Por eso lo hacemos acá. Así. Okay, thank you. También okay. me sale mal la, la snock, stop, snock, la número four. Ajá. Esa me sale mala también. Pero ya la voy a anotar. Ya le voy a tomar una foto. Ahí para ver. ¿Y, ¿Y por qué no nos la comparte? ¿Cree que puede compartirla? Y no creo porque... Ok. Ok, entonces, ahí fíjese que esté con la mayúscula, capital letter at the beginning of the sentence, que no vayan espacios, no more spaces between the, the words. Um, Maybe, the yeah, the period, and also check your spelling. Okay, check your spelling. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, and uh, in number eight, number eight. This pricing strategy hasn't uh... past participle of make 
Dạ. Uh, maid. Maid, yes. Dạ, yeah, mm -hmm. maid. Or product uh, enough competitive. A competitive is an adjective. Oh, competitive enough. Yes. Okay. There we go. Is there any question about these sentences? Or so far so good? All clear? It's okay. All right. Y ahora, ¿cómo se sienten acerca de marketing? A ver, ¿tienen más vocabulario ahora para platicar de marketing? ¿Cómo se sienten? Duchos. Yes. <laughs> yes. We, we... de vender. Yay. <laughs> okay, we are going to create our own uh, business here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, come on. Uh -huh. Ya fue que habló. ¿Ya, ¿Ya le agarró bien? No. <ríe> no, no Ok. Vamos a ver, eh, tendría que ser algo así. Vaya, vamos a ponérselo en el, en el chat para que lo copie ahí. Our product. Ah, fíjese bien que sea product o products, dependiendo, ¿verdad? Si es our product. Es offers. Si es our products, offer. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Hoy sí. Y todos así, Yeah, cross fingers. <laughs> hey, Ulise. Ok, tell me. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál es la que no te sale? Uh, number two. Uh, our products. Yes. Offer great. Uh -huh. Pero uh, así como la teacher creo que se me va a agarrar, como me dijo ella. Sí, que ahorita, ahorita lo estoy intentando. Ok. Ok. And everybody like this. Ok. There you go. You can do it. You can do it. Okay. So, como ya estamos con ganas de vender, <laughs> por la boca muere el pez. All right. <laughs> Yo estoy en pañales, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is our activity now. Okay. We are going to role play a marketing plan presentation. Okay, you will be the marketers here, the marketing team. Okay, and you will be presenting a marketing plan of a new smartwatch. Okay, you will sell a new smartwatch in the market. So you have to think about the product strategy. What are the features of this product? How does this product look like? The colors, the design, all the features, the functions, the software it it has, or I don't know. You are going you are going to come up with ideas about the product. Okay, then you will think about the uh, the pricing strategy. The pricing strategy, remember that it is about the full real place or the real full price. Price, price, I'm sorry. No sé por qué siempre se nos traba esa palabra, ¿verdad? ¿No han probado ustedes que siempre price se nos va como praise? Es price. No sé en qué estará y he buscado por qué a los salvadoreños, a todos nos ha pasado que decimos praise instead of price or place, right? Okay, the real full price, discounts, giveaways, and all this um, hey, 
pricing. You have to add the value to the product. Give a, an added value to the product. Mm, then the promotion strategy. What will be your advertisement media, okay? The place strategy, where are you selling your product, okay? Where are you selling your product? So this is what you are going to do right now. Think about a new smart watch, okay? Think about a new smart watch. And the four Ps, marketing mix, product, pricing, promotion, and place. There we go. Hey, thank you, Nelson. Yes, you're right. Okay, people, are you guys ready to call the attendance? Rolling call, no, call rolling, no, rolling call. No, roll calling. Oh God, my mind is crossing. One second, one second. Trying to send this slide. Okay, here we go. Roll calling, yeah, roll calling. Okay, what date is it today? Today is um, June, June the 2nd. Okay. Remember the requirements are that you have to turn your camera on and when I call your name, it will say present. Ready? Alvaro, Ernesto, permita. Álvaro Ernesto Aguilar Peñate. I remember he was connected at the beginning. Oh, he's just a listener now. Okay. Hello. Hi, Álvaro. She is. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, Ana Lorena Lobato Orellana. Present, teacher. Okay. Boris Alexander Cortez Cáceres. Present, Joe. Okay. Carlos Alberto Domínguez Martínez. Present. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Present. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present, teacher. Elias Neftalí Martínez González. Eulice Torres Torres. Present. Fátima Noemí Umaña Castro. Present. Ok, Fátima. José Miguel Torres Hernández. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. I'm here, teacher. Ok. Josman Atilio Serrano. Karen said Sanchez Castro. Oh, she wrote a message, right? She, she sent a message. Oh, okay. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menendez. Present. Okay. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejia. Here. Rafael Alexander Serna Diaz. Oh, he had the event in the company. Okay. Santiago Roberto Calderona Velar. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Ok, bien. Quiero animarlos a que se inscriban. Ya está listo para que reserven su cupo presentando su documentación, ¿verdad? E inicien el proceso de inscripción para que cuando ya ustedes tengan el final, al, al final del curso ya que pasaron este módulo, entonces ya está lista su inscripción, ya se hace efectiva. Así que por favor no lo vayan a olvidar desde ya para que no se detenga el tiempo, eh, no se alargue demasiado el tiempo de espera para volver a comenzar, ¿verdad? Entre más rápido presentamos, más rápido nos acreditan, más rápido empezamos nuevamente, ¿verdad? Ok, 
Vámonos entonces al breakout room. Let's go to the breakout rooms and prepare our presentation about a new smart watch. Got it, got one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Not sure, guys. Not sure. Okay, let's try. Let's give a try, guys. Please join your rooms. Okay. Okay. Entonces, the, 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 the presentation is a, a new smart watch. Yes. Se puede manejar PowerPoint. Yo no porque estoy en el teléfono. Yo no estoy muy familiarizado ya, pues ya tengo un rato de usarlo, pero quiero ver. But maybe in Word. Okay. Voy a intentar el paint, si tengo ganas de ver cómo es esto. Ok. Voy a compartir. Ok. <coughs> Pues, eh, se me olvida que es appealing. Vamos a ver. Watch. Smart. Smart watch. Oh. Oh. 
attractive. Smart watch. Step in the in the in the old date uh, can be uh, read read the read the blonde pleasure and mm -hmm. uh, so uh, for the first uh, we. Yeah. Can we receive the message, uh, the 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 WhatsApp message? Uh, where uh, is uh, right. Sure. right? Have a have a other 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 things? Yes. Uh, for example, take a call by your smartwatch and. You can listen to music, take a picture. Yes. There's some features about a uh, smartwatch. Okay. Y te mandé otro. Podemos usar uno, cualquiera de las dos. O los dos. Es que ya tenés ahí. Usamos. Sí, sí. Ajá. Pero gracias. Vaya. Entonces, la descripción del trabajo dice. Eso es lo que voy a hacer. Rock player. Marketing player presentation. New knowledge. Bye. Description. Is the, the, the color. Color is black. Is. Black and gray. Black and gray. Okay. Okay. Black and gray. Um, the watch has o sea, quiero hacer referencia a las figuras que tiene de verde y rojo de, de colgar el, el teléfono pero quiero poner la palabra appealing appealing ajá, o sea, the watch has Feeling, eh, figuras, figuras. 
Y si yo el doble de la manga, se me agarra y así. Yeah. I sent you some vocabulary through this, some chat. Viewers, viewers. Okay. The, the white figures. The white is, uh, the is uh, figures appealing. To know uh, the price. Uh, and we have to give the price and the promotion about uh, the price. And, okay. All right, thank you, teacher. Uh, for example, the price we can give the price and give a promotion. For example, twenty five percent discount, or uh, do it a giveaway in social media to uh, the people can note the new smartwatch. What do you think? The new model K K ninety nine nine or ninety nine person and and need have uh, a sport a sport design design the design yeah features features and this, this. I sent some vocabulary through the chat. Oh, thank you, teacher. It's made equipment one feature. It is one feature. It can be used for. It contains. <risa> pueden tener más los smart, no sé. Sí, bueno, sí. sí, sí, claro, okay. pueden tener más. Los de los, los, los Android actuales, algunos están, tienen 8 GB. Los de versión game tienen, gamer tienen 16 GB de RAM. De RAM. Mm. Sí, ajá. Por eso Pero está no, muy poquito, no, le estaba poniendo o sea, yo. No es... Es que no sé si, si, si nos estamos confundiendo con la memoria y con la RAM. Porque la memoria tiene 12 gigas en total. Y la RAM, en las especificaciones sí. que estoy viendo, tiene 512 megabytes. No sé si... Ah, ya te entendí. Estás viendo según la imagen. Ajá. Ah, no, yo porque creo que lo es... podemos yo creo que lo podemos reinventar para que sea más atractivo, porque bien básico se oye. Ok. Y, y vale 12 dólares ahí. Y nosotros vamos a poner a 400. <risa> <risa> ah, no, lo estoy viendo en otra. En otro. Quiero ver cuánto vale. Perdón. <risa> ok. <risa> ok. Eh, will be product strategy. Screen. Screen de de body y m m como perdón screen de de body m m en la pantalla de de cuarenta milímetros ah ah aquí sí, ajá va pero la ramba no la pantalla el screen más pequeño no 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 la pantalla o sea dando especificaciones estoy yo no sé si dimensiones 
Ajá. Perdón, perdón. Vaya, me mencionaste. Screen size 40 en el chat. In the chat is a mirror. Screen size 40mm. Yes. 40mm. Milímetros. Sí. Millimeters. Millimeters. Ok. Eh, la RAM la ponemos. Pero bueno. ¿verdad? Al menos a mí me, me, me gustan esas. Uh -huh, eh, también a mí. Hay... Es lo más. Eh... Conocer las especificaciones. Okay, dear class, was it easy? <laughs> I think you got excited with the features. Everybody got excited with the features, knowing um, the capabilities, the functions, the storage, whatever. I think, all, all of, I think we will of us uh, have uh, the idea uh -huh. but we but we didn't have the enough time ah that's what you think okay okay so um qué les parece si lo dejamos para el lunes la presentación a ver sí verdad yo sé que a todos les parece yes, <laughs> y todos así mm, este así <laughs> No, Muy para que chula. lo hagan bonito sí para que lo hagan bien chulo y nos graduemos de marketing verdad <laughs> Ajá, sí, pues sí. It's a, it's a seller <laughs> with emotion the first sta stage. Yes, yes. <laughs> you, you got excited knowing all the features of the newest, in the, right, in the market. In the palace is, is have money. Yes, yes, of course, that's money. Mm -hmm. En las del dinero. No exactly, sé. exactly. Mm -hmm. It's a treasure if you are a good seller because you have money every day. <laughs> yeah, you have money every day. If you do it correctly, if you do it well. Okay, people. So I think we are done with unit two, but we'll leave this for Monday. So be prepared for Monday. Así que lo terminan así bien bonito, ¿verdad? Para que lo presenten el día lunes. Y hagamos acá un buen video, ¿verdad? Presentando nuestros marketing plans. Acordémonos que la importancia es precisamente porque hay que poner por escrito las estrategias. Todos tenemos la idea, ah, se podría hacer esto, se podría hacer el otro, se puede. Pero póngalo en, en orden, ¿verdad? Product, place, okay. price and promotion. All right. So... Bueno, voy a tomar la asistencia nuevamente, jóvenes. ¿Alguien tiene alguna pregunta? Is there any question? No. No. Bien, acuérdense que todos deben subir el día de hoy su midterm test. Ok. Midterm Today. test. Yes. To meet your midterm test. Tengo que reportar oh. yo esas calificaciones, ¿verdad? Más tardar mañana a las 8. Más tardar mañana a las 8. 8 p.m. 
No, 8 a.m. Oh my goodness. 8 a.m. Come on. PM, please. PM, please. No, 8 a.m. 8 a.m. I'm sorry, because at 8 a.m., at 8 a.m. yes, I, if they take their reports from the system. Yes. So I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, but that's. Teacher. Uh huh. Tell I, me. I'm not um, sure about. Um, Section two or section three? No, no, no. Section two. Uh, uh, ahorita, vaya, mire, Ulises, como esta es un, este es un curso de tres semanas, ¿verdad? Perdón, de cinco semanas. Entonces, las primeras tres semanas tenemos la unidad uno y la unidad dos del manual. La unidad dos está dividida en dos semanas. ¿Ok? okay. Entonces, ahorita estamos terminando la unidad dos. Oh, perdón, sí, la unidad dos, que sería la sección dos. Vamos a empezar la un, eh, unidad tres con la sección tres eh, la próxima semana. Okay. Exactly. But this is the third week of this course. Ok. Ahí sí no nos confundamos, ¿verdad? Porque son, ya esta es la tercera semana, pero como van dos semanas con la unidad dos, ya. Yeah. Ok. Así que vamos a la 2.14 y ahí finalizamos y luego el midterm test. ¿Sí? Ya la mayoría ya lo hicieron y los felicito. Los que no lo han hecho, por favor, ahorita sí, miren. Point. Haciéndolo. Mm -hmm. ah, yeah, great idea. <laughs> okay. Teacher, the middle test is the can be fine in the in the book in the platform, right? Yes, it's right after the last homework. You just click on oh, okay. next, and is it the, takes is you. The, the, okay. I can do. I can do. I can do all that all test, right? Yes, of course. You have to do the four parts. Actually, you can work through the whole platform in advance, so it's not a problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bueno, I will call the attendance for the last time, and remember, I will do it quickly. So today is June the 2nd, Friday, right? Alvaro Ernesto Aguilar Peñate. Here. Here I am. Okay. Okay. Ana Lorena Lobato Orellana. Present teacher. Good, you are with us now. Well, actually, we finished the class, but I think you listened to the whole class, right? Thank you. And what do you think about the project of your classmates? Lore, se nos fue. Hola. Uh -huh. What do you think about the project of your classmates? Uh, I listen. Listen. Uh -huh. uh, the ideas okay. for the description of the smartwatch. Okay. And okay. I agree. With I agree. <laughs> I agree. Okay. Very good. Very good. Boris Alexander Cortez Cáceres. Present. Okay. Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. Present. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Present. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present teacher. Elías Neftalí Martínez González. Oh, yeah. Eulice Torres Torres. Present teacher. Ok. Fátima Noemí Umaña Castro. José Miguel Torres Hernández. José Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. I'm here, teacher. Ok. Osman Atilio Serrano. Karen Iset Sánchez Castro. No, ok. Eh, Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Present, teacher. Ok. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Here, teacher. Ok. And Rafael eh, Alexander Serna Díaz. Santiago Roberto Calderón Avelar. Wilber Alberto Pérez Méndez. Present. Ok. 
Then uh, the session one on one today is for Nelson. Uh, do you want to stay? Go ahead. Okay, there we go. Go ahead means, or go ahead, I'll do it. <laughs> okay, see you guys on Monday and uh, have a very good weekend. Okay, happy weekend. Good night. Good night. Enjoy your weekend. Bye. Okay, Nelson, here we are. How can I assist you with? Repeat me, please. Sorry. How, how can I assist you today? Mm, today, I, it was uh, inter interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, the marketing is a topic or subject. It's correct. I don't know. Yes, it's correct. Uh, Both. That, that I don't know much because my 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 degree is correct. Uh -huh. Yes. My degree mm -hmm. is uh, informatic. Oh, okay. And uh, I, I, don't, I don't know any... Uh, any about the marketing oh, okay <laughs> but if you create if you create some software then you can sell it now and you can create your promotion strategy yeah yeah it's correct because um, these topics uh, helps me um, to open my mind mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it's difficult because uh, uh, I am new in in this uh, subject, but it's interesting. Okay. So with the technical, maybe you are not so familiar, but yeah. as a customer, you know all what we are talking about, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the, uh, from the side of the seller, I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, so this is a new point of view. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, more technical, yeah, more technical. Yeah, uh, I knew, 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 mm -hmm. new words today, for example, overpricing and underpricing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm noted. Oh, okay, very good. Yes, something overpriced is that you are paying too much for the kind of product they are offering. The underpriced is something really good, but you are selling it, you are giving it as a gift to people. Yeah, you are not um, charging your customer as your product is worthy. Okay. Mr. Nelson, are you there? You got frozen. Well, not you, but oh, okay. Hello? Yeah, you, you got frozen. Yeah, sorry. Uh, okay. And and uh, in this case, is correct. It's not correct. Uh, say high prices. Yes, of course. But high price is um, it's a value added to that uh, product. Okay, but as I was saying, overpriced is something that it is not worthy to pay for. For example, it doesn't work well and you are paying too much money. That's overpriced. Okay. okay. You are paying more than the product is worthy uh, for. And uh, the other is that you are offering a really good product, product, but you are not charging your customer as your product is worthy. Okay. So that's the difference. But high price is that you are offering maybe a higher price than the average market, for example. Okay. Oh, high price. Mm -hmm. Different and context. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes yeah. you can use that. Uh, it, it sold uh, in high prices. And you can say that. But overpriced means that it's not worthy to pay for it. Okay. 
too much money yeah. for the product. No lo merece, offer. digamos, o algo exactly. así. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. As we were say, oh, okay. uh, as we were uh, seeing in the conversation about the negotiate the negotiation, uh, because uh, they said, well, actually, it's an expensive for the product. This is okay for the kind of product yeah. that I am offering. Yeah, so uh you you that was not overpriced it was worthy it was worth it was a high price but it was not overpriced okay oh, okay yeah it's um it's, uh, a little confused but i got it the, the uh, idea okay okay mm -hmm. you will see this when you hear about um marketing um let's say speeches if you want to go and check some speeches in the net you can find TED talks about how to sell and uh, the art of selling then you are going to listen about overpriced and high prices because pricing strategies mm, it's really expensive it's not a it's complicated it's complicated mm -hmm. yeah yeah okay mm -hmm. yes but it's 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 worthy it's worthy to do the research <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah it's worth it to do the research yeah okay is there anything else i can help you with is there um... anything i can help you with um, i forget I forget. I uh, I had a question, but I forget in this moment. <laughs> you didn't take Sorry. notes. Yeah, no, I forget to write it. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, but uh, uh, another day, I I remember that okay. that question. It's about, uh, for example, enough is a new topic for me. Too. Oh, okay. Uh, and I, I take note about the, uh, the, 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 mm -hmm. the use. The usage. For example, I, I, I note, uh, the adjectives and the nouns. Uh, the enough is after and before for that and this. Okay, and... just make it simple, like enough, uh, when you use enough, you're having this with two meanings. One is quantity, okay? Yeah. And you use this with nouns, usually, quantity, amount. So you use it with nouns. Now, when you talk about adjectives or qualities of a thing and verbs, adjectives and verbs, uh, you need enough to describe the degree, okay? The degree, el grado de, eh, que el grado que tienen de uh -huh. esa cualidad. For example, you uh -huh. say, uh, good enough. And that's very common. Good enough. That's good enough. Okay? That's good enough mean uh -huh. that um, it's not less good, right? Let's say. Or it's, too, it's not... It's... It's similar to add more value for the action or the verb or the action. Uh, no, 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 no. It means that it doesn't need more than what you have of goodness, for example. Okay. Uh, it's not that you need more. It's the right degree you've got. You mm -hmm. don't need more. You you don't have less. You oh, have yeah, yeah, yeah. just what it what it's needed. Yeah what is needed mm -hmm. okay. okay okay you can say i'm smart enough to fix my own car okay i'm mm -hmm. uh, smart enough to uh read german and english at the same time or i'm smart wow. enough to read <laughs> french and and and, and let's say <laughs> turkish right at the same time so smart enough yeah yeah um, yeah also mm, you are young enough okay to a uh, to the what's this 
to the playground in case, and the restaurants, okay? Like in this when case, this uh, enough is uh, similar to able. Um, no, exactly. When well, you say I, I smart enough. Uh huh. To it's fix, giving you uh, the capability. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, not exactly. Not exactly. Uh, but it's positive. The, uh, yes, it action. is. But for uh -huh. example, if you say I'm smart enough, then you can add to be able to. Okay, then it's completely different, right? Que soy uh -huh. tan inteligente que tengo la capacidad de o puedo uh -huh. hacer tal cosa. Podría hacer esto. Uh -huh. But uh, no, enough is the right degree of something. Okay. Yeah? Or a, an action. Yeah. For example, okay. the piano, the, 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 the example with the piano, uh -huh. if you don't practice enough, maybe you are going to fail. You are not going yeah. to learn. Mm, if you don't... Um, Hey, drink enough? No, no. <laughs> if you... <laughs> okay, if you don't eat enough, you will get hungry uh, early. Always. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, um, eat is an action. Eat enough. Yeah. Okay. Now, if I can, I can um use both. Use the verb and the adjective. For example, eat healthy enough. Okay. Eat uh... healthy enough. Eat, um, ah, but you can also mix in a different way. For example, eat enough healthy food. Ah, food is the noun, so that's why it goes after enough. Okay, okay. so you can make the combinations right there, but yeah, it's having... different mixes. Uh, yes, mm -hmm. but taking the in consideration that uh, adjectives and verbs goes right before enough yeah and the nouns goes after uh, enough but remember that sometimes the noun goes with the adjective for example i can say um well an adjective uh, healthy healthy food yeah healthy food i could say that food is not okay not healthy enough okay isn't healthy enough only healthy is with enough, but I can change the order and I could say uh, that isn't, mm, a, let's say, uh, no, in that case, yes, healthy food enough. No, healthy, no, no, it has to be food out of the question because it has to, to be like, it isn't healthy enough. Okay, so uh -huh. I have to say food at the beginning in that example. No, it doesn't work. Uh, let's say uh, smelly, smelly, stinky. No, there, so. Yeah, stinky. Uh, for example, I, I'm going to say you. The dog is stinky <laughs> enough. Okay, the dog is stinky enough to take a bath. Okay, to take a bath. Okay. It's like a purpose. Uh, but I want to make the combination uh like I did with eat and and the healthy food to change the order. Let me check some examples and I will give you some okay. other examples to see the combinations. You can put enough mm, uh, in different uh, combination. Adjective, okay. verb, and nouns. Okay. Adjective, okay. verb. Uh, and before enough and then noun after enough. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So the difference is amount, yeah, and the difference is degree. Degree okay. and amount. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. Is there any other thing? Mm, no yet. No yet. Okay, tomorrow. Another day. Tomorrow Another, is day. Saturday. Another day. <laughs> Okay, next week. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, let me know then. And if you have any comments, anything that you uh, think is going to be helpful for your classmates, then you can share through the WhatsApp chat, okay? Okay, noted. Very good then. Have a very good weekend and see you Monday.
I will send some Thank examples you, for you. You too. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye. Okay, bye.